Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Yudi Uchiha, and I'm gonna be honest, I debated on whether or not I was gonna make this video because I just didn't wanna come off as ungrateful or harsh or whatever the case may be. But, bro, the facts are the facts. This Dragon Ball Fighters rollback update sucks. And that really pains me to say, as I was looking very much forward to actually playing the finished product, making content on it, playing with homies, all this other stuff doing viewer lobbies like I, I had so much to look forward to and even though i wasn't feeling very good about the game and i had my thoughts and opinions about the game and stuff like that i was still looking forward to at least trying out the finished product and what's the finished product here's the image <laughs> might have even put a couple different images at this point but yeah it, it's it's bad you've got a plethora of bugs that was left in from the rollback beta and then you got all these new bugs that are in the the finished product now and you wonder to yourself what were they doing for the last two to three months i remember i had somebody come into my twitch chat and let me know that oh but the rollback beta is fine like it works exactly how it and i had somebody in my twitch chat come and tell me like oh but the rollback works fine like it feels good to play in and stuff like that and yeah sure of course it does because the rollback beta was good it felt good to play in despite all the bugs it still felt good to play in but when you still have all these bugs plus more stuff that wasn't even in the beta to begin with and somehow made it into this finished product it's just like does it even really work for real is it even worth playing in like sure the images that i showed were a spectator bug on pc but that's a big deal because a lot of people are getting on with their homies. I was gonna get on with my homies. I was gonna run viewer battles, all this other stuff. And imagine having to sit there, not only having to deal with the audio bugs that were in the rollback beta that didn't get fixed, but see a whole bunch of clones and T-posing and all this other stuff. It's just unacceptable, man. Like that, that like, it's just ridiculous, bro. And then you got the same visual bugs of the character images flashing as if they were popping, sparking, but they're not. It's just literally visually like bugged. And then not to mention too, the party battle 3v3 mode and the raid boss battle mode didn't have rollback netcode in it during the rollback beta, which, all right, cool. It's the beta. It is what it is. But surely it's going to be in the finished product. Nope. Yeah, it's not. And sure, it's a free upgrade if you own the game already. But imagine if you didn't own the game and now you're having to buy this, what, like $70 version, I'd assume, considering it's a PS5 Xbox Series X version. You buy that and then you see that some of the other features don't have the rollback netcode that you were looking forward to playing in yeah pretty crazy also another point i forgot to mention shout out the homie jt for actually linking his tweet to me during stream to actually find out this other issue that i feel like maybe not enough people are talking about but link to his tweet down in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself but essentially you cannot use any other controller or fight stick or whatever you play on if it's not compatible with the ps5 because the ps5 games always want you to use a dual sense controller which the alternative would be to get a converter and that way your issue is solved but i know not a lot of people know about that or want to do that or whatever the case may be but yeah pretty big issue forgot to mention it when i was actually recording but here it is and i know a lot of people were looking very much forward to the 3v3 mode as it was a pretty fun mode to play in you know what i'm saying if you got a group of homies and stuff like that you go into the 3v3 mode playing that and rollback would have been really good but i guess we'll never know because honestly i don't even know if they'll fix these bugs and speaking of bugs i honestly forgot to mention another big one if you own lab coat on the ps4 version guess what you don't own her on the ps5 version the ps5 version is making you buy lab code 21 even if you own her already which is crazy because if you own every other dlc character now nah, you're good you're free to download them but lab coat nah it's just all really sad i just don't understand it whatsoever and bro like what did they do to my favorite game bro y'all remember how at the end of the battle hour everybody was pissed off because they legitimately didn't have anything to announce or anything like that but at the very least i'm like oh they're gonna drop the rollback date right no they didn't do that they said wait a little bit more and then when they were planning on stealth dropping this as they announced it on february 28th that it's like oh it's coming out tomorrow it had everybody questioning like y'all couldn't have just said it was dropping a month later but considering how the finished product ended up coming out 
It makes a lot of sense why it got stealth drop. Because imagine you announce a date, everybody's looking forward to this date, and it gets closer and stuff like that. It finally comes out, and then you see this product that we have right now. Yeah, I can imagine a lot more people would be even more upset than they already are right now. But yeah, I'm passionate about this stuff because I love this game. It's my favorite game, like I said. And I played this since day one, season one, started playing from even the close bay of the days. I've made a lot of good memories on this game. I've met a lot of people. I even competed in tournaments, which is something I thought I'd never do in gaming ever. And that was a very fun and different experience for me. And I'm going to forever enjoy those memories for sure, no doubt. But it's just it just pisses me off because this game could have been so much more. And mind you, it was already a big success as is, but like it could have been so much more. And the, to see it get treated the way it has been the last two years is just very upsetting, man. Like, bro, we only got one new stage in the six years that this game has been out. We never even ended up getting character skins like we could have had Resurrection F Gi Goku and Resurrection F Gi Vegeta and, you know, Kid Gohan and Goku Gi. TN's Dragon Ball Z outfit. You could have had so much more in the game, like so many different skins, and I would have been down to buy them. I don't care. I would have been so down to buy them, but we didn't even get that. And it's just crazy because Dragon Ball Fighters has sold 10 million copies, which is the same amount as Xenoverse 2. And that's a big deal because Xenoverse 2 is two years older than Dragon Ball Fighters. Xenoverse 2 came out in 2016 dragon ball fighters came out in 2018 and the fact that the younger game sold just as many copies if not maybe even more at this point is just pretty crazy meanwhile dragon ball xenoverse 2 is still getting a ton of support it's even getting a ps5 version like xenoverse 2 is getting a whole lot of content mind you dbfz i'm not saying dbfz has to have more dlc but there are a ton of dlc characters that you can add and again you could just treat the game a lot better in general which is all i'm really like wanting but they can't even do that but yeah you could talk about all the dlc characters that you can add to dbfz you still got characters like omega shenron super 17 turles uh bojack android 13 tapion future gohan you have so many different characters to choose from honestly beast gohan honestly orange piccolo like even a game like naruto boruto shinobi striker that game is still getting content and then i even made a separate video talking about why storm connections is bad i can't believe i'm here talking about why dragon ball fighters is bad it's just like man anime games are really in the mud right now and it's just i'm laughing about it but it's just honestly like it it, it, it saddens me like it, it really upsets me because i was looking forward to both of these games man but yeah like i said man i'm passionate about this stuff because i love this game and a whole bunch of other people love this game but unfortunately the game don't love me back the game don't love y'all back it's just it is what it is bro look man dragon ball fighters had a great run nonetheless you know what i'm saying like despite everything the game still had a fantastic run despite the fact that it could have been even more but again it's just like if they would have just like i know look i know when when you think of other factors you know you think of like covid covid really slowed this game down a lot because the game was still in delay based net code and everything was being uh held online like tournaments and stuff like that like covid definitely did a number on this game for sure but it still just makes you question why they've treated the game the way it does because Honestly, people were still making things work even in the delay based netcode. People were still hosting tournaments. People were still showing a lot of love to the game despite dealing with the delay based netcode, dealing with the fact that there were no offlines and stuff like that. Like, and when the game was still getting world tours, you were kind of just like, okay, like maybe there's still something in mind for the game because the fact that this game is still getting world tours, the fact that this game is still getting patches, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe there is something in, in store for the game that we don't know about. But in the end this is what we got but yeah man let me know how you guys feel in the comment section i'm just you know what i'm saying i'm thrown back by the fact that this game is what it is now and yeah bro if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button if you guys are new here and looking forward to some different style of content we got tekken 8 stuff that i'm uploading i'm having a lot of fun with tekken 8 and just happy to have another fighting game to play and also some different type of stuff coming real soon that's different from my fighting game content be sure to hit the subscribe button my goal is to hit 500 subscribers and we're pretty close to that so i would appreciate it if you guys would hit the subscribe button but with that being said that's gonna be the end of the video 
and I hope you guys take it easy.